Welcome to the Freebeat 2022 Budget Electronic Music Gear Holiday Buyer's Guide. That is quite a mouthful. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to all of my amazing patrons and everyone watching this video. Happy Holidays! Let's get started. The holidays have arrived, and for many of us, that means it's time to purchase gifts for our loved ones. And if your loved one is or wants to be an electronic musician, you might have no clue where to start. But don't worry, this video is for you. Also, here at Freebeat, I primarily tackle more budget-oriented electronic music gear, so I'm going to keep every recommendation in this video to under 200 US dollars. Let's begin with the cheapest item on the list, uh, so cheap in fact that it's free. Now, I actually took this gift advice from Bow Beats a couple years ago, and I liked it so much that I've included it in every single buyer's guide I've ever done. The gift is simply your time. If your loved one is an electronic musician, just sit down with them and give them your time. Let them show you their creative process or share a song they've been working on with you or whatever they'd like. Being a great audience doesn't cost a darn thing and an hour or two of your time will go a long way with any musician. Next on our list is another repeat from last year's guide. It's cables and adapters and batteries. This one might be a bit tricky if you don't have intimate knowledge of your loved one's setup, so it's uh, not a bad idea here to just ask them what small cables or adapters might help them out. Seriously, there are so many little bits and pieces that often skip musicians' minds, or sometimes we just forget we need them, you know, or forget to buy them, and uh, it's just a really appreciated gift, and uh, you might make more of a difference than you realize with just a few adapters or just a set of batteries. All right, let's dive into the actual gear. Now, most of the items on this list were provided to me by Zounds.com, so I just wanted to give them a big thank you for helping make this video possible. They did not ask me to plug them at all, but uh, I'm feeling like it, so if you're in the U.S. and looking to buy some gear, they are a great website to visit. The link is in the description. Thanks again, Zounds, for making the buyer's guide possible. Let's start off with a MIDI controller. Now, a MIDI controller is a device that doesn't actually make any sound by itself, but rather controls a different device, either hardware or software, that can make sound. There are many different types of MIDI controllers, from drum pads to keyboards to, well, really anything you can think of. The controller I have in front of me right now is Arturia's MiniLab 3, the latest in their MiniLab line of controllers. This is a keyboard controller that also has drum pads, faders, and knobs, making it a very versatile unit for any musician. It's got the modern conveniences of USB Type-C for power and controlling computer software, as well as full-on 5-pin MIDI for controlling other hardware instruments. Software-wise, it comes bundled with Ableton Live Lite, a basic version of one of the most popular DAWs, or digital audio workstations, out there. I actually used Ableton Live Lite for almost three years before finally upgrading. It's got a ton of features in there. The Minilab 3 also includes Arturia's own Analog Lab Intro, which is a collection of great sounding presets from their flagship V Collection software. Throw in the UV Model D, which is a lovely grand piano VST, and you've got a great choice of software to get started. Again, this keyboard by itself makes no sounds, and all of the software I just mentioned needs a computer to actually use. Priced at around 120 US dollars, Arturia's Minilab 3 is a great all-around controller, and the included software is outstanding for beginners. Let's move on to gear that actually makes sounds now. These are the Volkas from Korg. They are portable, battery-powered with the option for wall power too, and come in many different models to cover a wide variety of sounds. These two are the Volka Keys, which is a true analog synth, and the Volca Drum, which is a digital drum machine with a dizzying amount of sound design options. The other popular models are the Volca FM2, the Volca Sample 2, and the Volca Bass. Priced at around 149 US dollars, they offer a great value, are a lot of fun to play, and can find their way into many different studio setups.
There's also the Roland Ira Compact series. Priced at 199 US dollars, the Ira Compacts are the most expensive item on our list today. Now there are actually three different units available. This one here, the E4, is a vocal processor. It's got auto-tune, vocoder, and a variety of other vocal-based effects. My favorite feature is that you can hook up a MIDI keyboard like the aforementioned Arturia Minilab 3 and play the melodies you want to sing. I also like that the E4 makes it easy to tell what words are being sung. Yeah. Just a heads up though, you will also need a microphone to use with the E4, and you'll need to connect it with a quarter inch cable right here. Roland also has the J6, which is a chord based synth, and it sounds great in my opinion and the T8, which is a drum and bass synth that also sounds fantastic. All three units have internal rechargeable batteries, but they don't have built-in speakers, so you will need headphones in order to hear them. Should be noted, by the way, the Korg Volkas that we just took a look at do have built-in speakers. While they're not great, it can get the job done in a pinch. Next, Let's talk about effects. I've included two effects units on my list today, and I'm gonna start off with the Korg NTS-1. The NTS-1 has been my go-to effects unit for almost three years now, and for good reason. It's got a variety of reverbs, delays, and modulation effects, and you can apply those effects to just about any device you want through its 8-inch audio inject. You can also load in custom third-party effects by using a computer, which means that there's almost always something new to try out. On top of that, it's also a synthesizer, with third-party support for new synth types. You can play it with a MIDI keyboard too, so don't worry, you're not just limited to this silly little touch strip. Did I mention it only costs 99 US dollars? You're gonna be hard pressed to find a device out there with more value. I also have a lot of NTS-1 content here on the channel, so feel free to check it out or recommend it to your loved one if you do plan on giving them one of these. Real quick, it should be noted that there is an NTS-2, but it's a completely different device with a completely different purpose and totally unrelated to the NTS-1. So while the NTS-2 might be worth your time and research, I won't be covering it in this video. Now it's time to talk about the Zoom MS-70 CDR. If you think this looks like a guitar effects pedal, you're correct, it is. However, it's also a phenomenal effects pedal for synthesizers. The CDR stands for Chorus, Delay, and Reverb, however it's got other effects too, like EQs, Compressors, and Limiters. You can chain up to six different effects together, easily manipulate their parameters, and even swap the order of the effects chain with just a few button clicks. Combine that with the ability to add even more effects and a very popular pedal hack floating around the internet to add even more to it, and you've got a great effects pedal at just 149 US dollars. And by the way, it doesn't have to go on the floor. You can use it desktop just fine. The last item on our list today is a bit different. Rather than making music, this device helps you record it. Recording music is often overlooked by musicians just starting out, and this Zoom H1N is a fantastic way to make sure your loved one always has a way to record on hand. 
It has a built-in XY stereo microphone for capturing acoustic instruments or just sampling slash recording the world around you, but it also has an 8th inch line in jack for recording synthesizers, drum machines, and more. It also has a headphone jack that doubles as a line out, so you can monitor your recordings, plug it into speakers and use it as a microphone, and so much more. Everything records to an SD card, so it's very easy to transfer your recordings off of the device and onto a computer. Zoom has many more options as you go up in price, such as this Zoom H5, with more advanced features, but the roughly 99 US dollar H1N is just too good of a deal to ignore. And that's it. Of course, there are thousands more gift options out there, and no one knows your loved ones better than you, so feel free to share your thoughts or ask any questions you may have in the comment section below. If you did find this video helpful, please consider leaving a like on it or even subscribing. I have many other videos here on the channel covering most of the gear featured in this video, so if you feel like giving me a gift, you could even share this channel with your loved ones. I truly do hope I was able to help you find a gift for a loved one in your life, Thank you all so very much for being here. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next time. Bye.